The French nuclear giant Arriva is providing Japan with radiation decontamination technology to treat water that's been used to cool its leaking nuclear reactors. While nuclear plant operator TEPCO has managed to avert a complete meltdown, its use of water to cool the overheated rods has left it with tens of thousands of tons of contaminated water it must dispose of. TEPCO initially drained the water into the sea, but stopped amid widespread criticism it was contaminating seafood stocks and spreading radiation to other areas. A river CEO Anne Lovajean says the technology can be put in place by next month. If we can start operating the system by the end of May, it will be the world's fastest case of dispatching such a system to a site. According to Kyoto News Agency, an estimated 70,000 tons of contaminated water remains at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. 25,000 tons are believed to contain extremely high levels of radiation, which Lavajan says will calm down quickly with the use of the technology. With this process, contamination will drop to between 1,000 and 110,000 of current levels. Arriva is one of the leading names in the nuclear industry and its experts have been helping Japan cope with the disaster. The crisis has led to emerging signs of resistance to nuclear energy in places like South Korea and India, where protests have broken out over a planned nuclear plant Arriva will help build. Despite this, Lovajan insists nuclear power will regain its reputation as a clean alternative. In my midterm view, nuclear power will regain its prospects by utilizing the most reliable technology. Therefore, Arriva will not change its business course. Japan's nuclear crisis has been rated on par with the world's worst nuclear crisis at Chernobyl. Although the total amount of radiation released is only a fraction of that released back in 1986. Arnold Gay, Reuters.